Hello everyone, welcome back to Geek News Folders web series or HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and jQuery. This is Lavic. I'll be walking you through this series. Uh, today I'm going to be going over how to code combinations of different types of selectors. Um, pretty pretty easy video. Uh, if you got a good handle on the last couple of videos we did over general selectors and then of course relational selectors, uh, this will be pretty easy to get. In front of me I have an HTML5 uh, document already set up. It's a basic document. Uh, and so we're going to just take a look at some stuff here. Uh, I'm going to put in some HTML5 code here. And I'm going to put in a section. And go ahead and close this section. Alright, and then down here I'm going to make me another, another section. Go ahead and close that one. Alright, and then I'm going to also make me a paragraph. Close that out. All right. In this first uh, s section here, I'm going to put me here paragraph, and I'm going to say my paragraph in a section. Okay, there we go. In this second section, I'm going to put me another paragraph, and my paragraph in a another section. All right. And then down here in this paragraph, I'm going to put outside of a any section. There we go. Alright, and then on this first section I'm going to give this a class and I'm going to set this uh, class to equal to red. Uh, I'm going to skip this section all right here and then down here, actually I'm going to save this and then up here I'm going uh, to show you kind of basically what I'm doing and then we're going to go back and experiment a little bit. In my style here, uh, I want to target um, uh, I don't want to target just my class red. I don't want to do that. Uh, and I don't want to target just a section. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that they're together. I want to make sure that I'm targeting a section, but not just any section. I want to make sure it also has a class red with it. Okay? Because maybe I'm doing something. I, I'm not sure what I'm doing. But basically all we're going to do is change the color. But I want to make sure that they're together. I don't want to target uh, the red class by itself and I don't want to target a section class by itself. I want to make sure they're together. So how do we do this? Well we put I put section and then I put my uh, my class. Like I can do period red. Open, close. Alright up here and then we'll change the color I'm just going to change it to red. In our case, we could have just done this as a class, but for, for y'all learning this, uh, we're going to keep it simple here. And so, if I save this and I run it, all right, there we go. And I'm going to add to this description with the class red. All right. So, it, it, it turns that red, okay? It doesn't affect this this section uh, or uh, uh, this uh, paragraph in this other section or uh, this uh, paragraph outside of any section. All right. And so, well, what else can I do? Well, uh, I could put my class right here, and there we go, red. So, we'll launch this in Firefox. It doesn't affect that. It just affects this one. It's only going to affect when these two are together, with a section and the class is together. It's that's all it's going to affect. All right. It's going to leave this other section by itself alone. It's going to leave uh, uh, this this class this class with this paragraph. It's going to leave that alone. Okay. So th uh, that is uh, when when you have two uh, combinations, uh, like you want to do a certain element with a certain class and you want to make sure they're together or you don't want to affect them when they're separate. Okay, so that's how you do that. Alright, uh, the next uh, thing we're going to look at is multiple selectors. Uh, come up here and I want to select uh, let's see, I want to select paragraphs and sections. Uh, actually, let's read our HTML code to make this a little bit easier to see. Um, I'm going to do some H1s. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to put H1 right there. I'm going to do an H2. H2 right there. 
And then let's do an H3. Oops, H3 right there. All right. I want to. I want to. I want to select all of those. I don't. Or maybe say, yeah, all of those will work. So I want to put H1. Okay, comma, H2, comma, H3. Open, close, and I can go in here, and I can change my color to red. I can save this. I can run it, and that will affect all three of them. They're all three red. Uh, I can take that out. I just want to select H1 and H3. Run that in Firefox and it does that. Okay, that's how you can select, you know, multiple selectors. Um, I could even, I could even, let's see, right here, give this a class uh, to red. Okay, and down here I can do an H3, uh, H3 with no class. Alright, and then I can go up here and I can do this. I want to select H1, uh, and then I want to select H3, but I want it to make sure it has the class uh, red on it. I can save that. And I can run it. The H1 is selected. This H3 with the class is selected, but this H3 without the class is not. Okay, so you can kind of uh, combine when you want to do a selector with an element. Um, like with like the first uh, with the section and the paragraph, or uh, sorry, the section and the class red. Uh, you you can uh, also do multiples of those. So I can select an H1, just the element by itself. Then I can have this right here. I can have this H3, but with the class red. I can I can select those also. All right, so that's just kind of overview of different combinations you can do with selectors. All right, so this has been Live It with Geek Disorder. I hope you like our content. If you do like it, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let us know how we're doing. Y'all have a great day.